Welcome to the Innovative Classroom Podcast, where we explore the cutting edge of education through the lens of self-determination theory. I'm Brad Flickinger, a middle school technology teacher passionate about empowering students to take control of their learning journey. In each episode, we'll dive into practical strategies, inspiring stories, and expert insights to help you transform your classroom into a hub of creativity, autonomy, and student success. Let's innovate together. This episode is entitled Introduction to Self-Determination Theory. Self-Determination Theory, SDT, is a comprehensive and widely researched framework that delves into the intricate nature of human motivation, psychological well-being, and personal growth. Developed by psychologists Edward L. D.C. and Richard M. Ryan, SDT has gained significant traction in various domains, including education, healthcare, sports, and organizational settings. At its core, the theory posits that individuals possess an innate tendency to pursue growth, integration, and self-actualization, and that the fulfillment of three basic psychological needs, autonomy, competence, and relatedness, is crucial for optimal functioning and well-being. The first pillar of SDT autonomy refers to the individual's sense of volition and self-endorsement in their actions and decisions. When individuals feel autonomous, they perceive their behavior as emanating from their own interests, values, and goals rather than being controlled by external pressures or contingencies. Autonomy supportive environments, such as those fostered by educators who provide meaningful choices, rationales, and opportunities for self-direction have been shown to enhance intrinsic motivation, engagement, and learning outcomes. And they show competence, the second basic psychological need, pertains to the individual's desire to feel effective and capable in their interactions with the environment. When students experience a sense of mastery and growth in their skills and knowledge, they are more likely to embrace challenges, persist in the face of obstacles, and derive satisfaction from their achievements. Educators can support students' need for competence by providing optimal challenges, constructive feedback, and opportunities for skill development and mastery experiences. The third essential component of SDT is relatedness, which refers to the individual's need to feel connected, valued, and cared for by others. In educational contexts, students who experience a sense of belonging, acceptance, and support from their teachers and peers are more likely to internalize the values and goals of the learning environment, exhibit higher levels of engagement and motivation, and experience positive emotional and academic outcomes. Educators can foster relatedness by creating inclusive and supportive classroom climates, promoting collaborative learning, and demonstrating genuine care and concern for students' well-being. SDT distinguishes between different types of motivation, ranging from a motivation, a lack of intention to act, to extrinsic motivation, behavior driven by external rewards or consequences, to intrinsic motivation, behavior driven by inherent interest and enjoyment. Within the realm of extrinsic motivation, SDT further differentiates between four types of regulation. External, behavior controlled by external contingencies. Introjected, behavior driven by internal pressures, such as guilt or ego enhancement. Identified, behavior aligned with personal values and goals. And integrated, behavior fully assimilated into one's sense of self. Uh, the theory posits that the more internalized and autonomous the motivation, the greater the benefits for learning, performance, and well-being. In, that, in the context of technology education, SDT offers valuable insights and practical implications for educators striving to create engaging, meaningful, and transformative learning experiences by designing learning environments that uh, support students' needs for autonomy, competence, and relatedness. Educators can foster intrinsic, you know, motivation, creativity and a deep sense of personal investment in the learning process. For example, providing students with opportunities to choose their own projects, collaborate with peers, and receive constructive feedback 
can enhance their sense of autonomy, competence, and relatedness, respectively. It, moreover, SDT can inform the development and integration of educational technologies in ways that promote student agency, mastery, and social connectedness. By leveraging the affordances of digital tools and platforms, educators can create personalized learning pathways, facilitate peer-to-peer -peer interactions, and provide real-time feedback and support, thereby nurturing students' intrinsic motivation and engagement. At the same time, SDT cautions against the over-reliance on external rewards or gamification elements that may undermine students' sense of autonomy and intrinsic interest in the subject matter. If who? In summary, self-determination theory provides a robust and holistic framework for understanding the complex dynamics of human motivation and well-being in educational settings. And by attending to students' basic psychological needs for autonomy, competence, and relatedness, educators can create learning environments that foster intrinsic motivation, engagement, and optimal development. As technology continues to shape the landscape of education, SDT offers valuable guidance for harnessing the potential of digital tools and platforms to support students' growth, empowerment, and lifelong learning. In the podcasts that follow, we will delve deeper into the applications and implications of SDT for technology education, exploring practical strategies, case studies, and emerging trends in this rapidly evolving field. Thank you for tuning in to the Innovative Classroom Podcast. I'm Brad Flickinger, and I hope we can innovate and improve your teaching practice together. If you enjoyed today's episode, please subscribe, leave a review, and share it with fellow educators. Remember, together, we can create classrooms where students thrive. Until next time, keep innovating.